every generation, there's a moment where everything changes. This is one of those moments. Introducing GE Additive. What's been the industry need for ceramics? What do you think? Ceramics is used heavily in industry for uh, um, insulating point of view, for heat resistance, uh, for mold making, uh, lots, lots of different applications. We've had a long background, 30 years of developing 3D technologies and we do tend to develop a system that is generic and then we put it out in the market and then what we find is that someone will adapt the technology to their own uses. Um, and that's how we ended up in the dental industry. So we developed a, a, a milling machine, generic milling machine, started being used in jewellery. So we built a jewellery machine specifically to their needs and then dentists started using that. So we then built a machine for the dental labs. Um, and it'll be the same with this technology, but, but rather than just throw out a generic machine that's a, a powder binder jetting system, we thought, okay, we understand the needs in, in automotive and, and aerospace where they want to maintain strength but reduce weight. Ceramics is a good way of doing this, a lot of ceramic components in the engines and, 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 and all sorts. Let's try and find focus. Let's put it out in the market and let's see what happens. How long is this machine going to be in development for? What, when do <laughs> you expect to see it in the market? We don't know. We don't know. Um, you know, it normally takes two years to take a product from uh, inception to, to, to on the market for us. Uh, we can do it quicker. We have done it in six months um, and we have taken considerably longer as well. With this one, because we're putting it out to the market first, there's likely to be changes and that will inevitably slow it down. But again, it would depend on the market demand. So if the market demand is there, we can see a clear opportunity and it's of a scale that justifies the increased effort and more resource in R&D, then we can get the machine out much quicker. But Do you think having a brand like, you know, like Roland that people trust is going to help basically sell the machine? Always. Yeah. Always, always. I mean, people talk about the, 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 the value of a brand in terms of um, the price that you can charge. So you may be able to get a premium of 7 or 10% on the cost, but that's not what it's about. Um, really, what, what people are looking for is, is, I think a lot of people come to, to exhibitions like this, they love all the technology, it's all sci-fi stuff. Um, they, they don't really fully understand it and that means they're frightened of it. So what they need is someone to hold their hand. And they want to know that, that whoever they buy from is, is going to be around in two years, three years, five years time. So the fact that we've been doing milling for 30 years tells people that, that we're here to stay.